Hello, my name's Chemical Cress, and today we're going to be doing some chemical reactions in our assembly. So, to start off with, I've got a big bowl of liquid. Hopefully you can see that this liquid is blue. Now, I made this liquid a very strange way. I got a red cabbage, I chopped it up, I mixed it with some hot water, and it made the water go this really nice blue colour. Now, cabbage water is really exciting because it changes colour depending on what I put inside it. So I've got two exciting things here today. I've got something called citric acid, which is an acid, the clue is in the name, and something called bicarbonate of soda, which is the opposite of an acid, it's an alkali. Now I wonder what colour my cabbage water is going to go when I put in the citric acid. So teachers, pause the video now, and children, Tell your teachers what colour you think the cabbage water is going to go. OK, hopefully you've all made your predictions. If you haven't, pause the video and make them now and let's see what happens. In science, it doesn't really matter if you're right or if you're wrong. The important thing is just having a go, making a guess and then doing an experiment. So we're going to see what happens. I'm going to get my citric acid. We can all count together. We're going to go three, two, one, and then I'm going to tip it in and let's see who was right. We ready? Three, two, one. Okay, if I swirl that one around, you should see it's starting to go a really nice pink color. I'll give it a bit more of a mix. Fantastic. So if you said pink, then you were absolutely right. But don't worry if you didn't, there's going to be another chance to do a prediction in a moment. So I said I had an acid, and I also had something that's the opposite of an acid, called an alkali. There are lots of types of acid in the world, like citric acid, vinegar, lemon juice, and there are also lots of types of alkali. And this one is called bicarbonate of soda. So in a moment, pause the video, and tell your teachers what colour you think the cabbage water is going to go when we put in the alkali. Pause the video now. Okay, hopefully you've made your next prediction, but remember, it still doesn't really matter if you're right or if you're wrong. Science is just about making a prediction and then giving the experiment a go. Count with me again from three. So three, two, one. Wow, it's starting to bubble up over the top. That was a double reaction. And hopefully you can see it's starting to go purple on the bottom. And if I put in even more alkali, it would eventually go back to that blue colour that we started off with. So if you said purple or if you said blue, then you were absolutely right. When we put in an acid, it goes from blue to pink. And when we put in an alkali, it goes backwards, from pink back to blue. Our one stopped at purple, but if we put in a little bit more bicarbonate of soda, it would eventually go blue. Now, something else happened. It fizzed and it bubbled. And that was an extra reaction between the citric acid and the bicarbonate of soda. Anytime we get bubbles in an experiment, it means we've made a gas. I wonder if any of the older children can guess what gas has been made. Teachers, if you'd like to, you can pause the video now and your children can tell you what gas they think has been made. If not, carry on to our next experiment. If you pause the video, the answer is carbon dioxide. So when we mix together citric acid and bicarbonate of soda, we end up with carbon dioxide. And because it's a gas, it bubbles out over the top. Now let's try another experiment. So, I've got something here called hydrogen peroxide. It's really good at making big, fizzy, foamy experiments. And I'm going to pop it into this flask here. Now, if I could hear you, I'd ask you how much of this you wanted me to put in. Because if I put in a little bit, it's going to make a little experiment. But if I put in a lot, it's going to make a really, really, big experiment, okay? Now after three, I want you to tell your teachers if you'd like a little bit 
or a lot. Ready? One, two, three. Now I can't hear you, but normally everybody says they'd like a lot because that will make the biggest possible reaction. So I'm actually going to pour in the whole bottle of hydrogen peroxide and make a really big chemical reaction. Just like that. I'm going to put in some washing up liquid to make it extra bubbly. And then I'm going to give it a mix around like this. You can tell your teachers what colour it's gone. What colour is it? Okay, now that looks cool, but it's not doing anything yet. So I'm just going to put it down for a second. And then I've got something here that you use when you're making bread. It's called yeast. So I'm going to put a little bit of yeast into some water to make the yeast wake up, to get it ready to do a chemical reaction. I'll pour this in here and I'm going to give it a mix around. It's a good job I'm on a video because if you were close to me, you'd be able to smell this and it's really, really stinky. Some people like the smell and some people think it's a bit disgusting. But the cool thing is, the fact that it's starting to smell shows that it's ready to do a chemical reaction. So I'm going to put my funnel in here down there is that green hydrogen peroxide and washing out liquid mixture. I'll put it down so you can see the top because that's the most exciting bit. And we'll do a countdown from five. You can join in with me. So five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to pour all of this down here and let's see what happens. Wow, there was a really big bubble and now it's starting to fizz and foam out over the top. I don't know if you can see it, but if I put my finger in, you can see all this thick foamy liquid. Can anybody guess what gas is in there? You can pause the video if you want to be able to tell your teacher what gas we've made this time from our hydrogen peroxide. Pause the video if you want to tell your teacher. Okay, the answer is oxygen. So that one, the clue was a little bit in the word hydrogen peroxide. When we mix the hydrogen peroxide with the yeast, it took out the oxygen and it made a really thick foam, just like before. Because it's a gas, it wanted to spread out, so it bubbled out over the top. Hopefully you've enjoyed those two chemical reactions today, and hopefully it's shown you just how much fun science can be.